A good idea, Stop. Two married people can't testify against each other. I don't want you seeing and my daughter putting your hands on her. It's the truth, Omar, and you know it. The truth, Malcolm, is that you have lost your way. Who could forget this iconic scene from Godfather of Harlem, season two, the finale? And to me, that season two finale is one of the top 10 best finales ever in TV history. I think that The Godfather of Harlem is one of the most untalked about shows because of the network that is on. But damn it, y'all know you're rocking with Lamont Tyson, and it's going to be put on blast to the best of my ability. And I just wanted to do a quick episode video because the new season is coming this Sunday, and I want to just kind of refresh you guys on what happened in the finale episode from last season and also give you some tidbits from the trailer of where we might be going this season. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Be sure to share these videos. I will be doing Godfather of Harlem videos the whole entire time. I want to put this show on blast. I need more people to see this show because this is definitely one of the best shows ever done. Just kind of on the wrong network for those wondering what network is on. It is on FX now, but they've now changed their name to MGM. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Download the podcast. Let's catch another clip from the last season, and then we'll talk about it a little bit and go into what's happening in season three. I need to take your side. Bonanno's planning to wholesale the dope without the help of the other family. Joe Bonanno's men are up there. None of you are going to leave here alive. You want the dope, then give me the money. I take your offer. It's time to get out of town, Joe. All is mine. So how can we forget, ladies and gentlemen, last season ended with riots all over Harlem because we have one of the same damn issues going on then that is going on now. Police brutality, killing an innocent boy right in the heart of Clayton Powell and LBJ signing civil rights. And Lord have mercy, John Carlo Esposito playing Clayton Powell. Love it. Needs to win an award for this because he's killing it. And then in the midst of all that, we had Bumpy Johnson had teamed up with Vincent to get rid of Bonanno, who was going to double cross everybody. And they double cross him because he got the French character on his side so they can get that French connection. But what happened with that, ladies and gentlemen, they bring the doogie into town. It gets burnt up because everybody's riding. And in the midst of it getting burnt up, Oh, bald head, my pride is hurt because Bumpy's daughter, like Malcolm and not me, decides that he's going to go against the orders of the high apostle and try to kill Malcolm X, which was told to Bumpy by Morgenthau that Malcolm was going to die and Bumpy goes and saves Malcolm from death. And then they end with this just damn iconic shot of the two leaders standing inside of a room looking out as pure chaos and you even got Malcolm holding the gun as everything's going down from police brutality in Harlem. So that was season two. So where are we going to pick up from now? Keep in mind Stella done told on her damn daddy because he killed her man Ernie. She was in love with Ernie. Ernie was going to give her a baby and move out the game and daddy went in there and killed him and now Stella is tasked with ratting on the whole damn families in the borough. And she is hell bent on getting revenge. Families by working with me. And if I say no, <clears throat> why would you do that? You're either gonna work with the Italians or you're gonna fight them. One will kill to protect. And so when you go through this trailer, ladies and gentlemen, some of the things I saw that are new is Whoopi Goldberg is in this thing. It looks like she's a records keeper telling Bumpy how much money he done lost. Then we see what looks to be the restaurant, the Italian restaurant, Bamani's, where they have all the family meetings. We see the family in their meeting, probably letting everybody know what the hell is going on with Vincent and his damn daughter running her mouth. And ladies and gentlemen, post your comments if you think Stella's going to have to die. I kind of think they're going to wind up killing Stella this season. And then we wind up seeing Bumpy talking to a new person. 
And my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, this new person is going to be the new adversary to Bumpy. He's going to be the one causing Bumpy the most problems. Look at his ass looking at Bumpy like, you nigra. I don't even understand why they respect your black ass because we are the superior folks up around here. You see some mafia dude following Stella, who, ladies and gentlemen, is right here with Morgenthau telling everything on all the families, including her damn daddy. You see it. Vito, she's telling because she's still upset. But the question I want to know is, is anybody going to be able to convince Stella not to tell? And here's my very first death prediction. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Stella. And God knows I love me some Stella. Mm, 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 mm. One of my favorite characters on this show. But ladies and gentlemen, there's no way Stella's going to be able to survive this shit. She's got to die. And I hope she's able to last the whole entire season or somehow or another circumvent death by getting her own body. And then we see probably the best actor up here, along with Nigel Thatch, who played Malcolm, but is not up here now, Clayton Powell. And what kind of a travesty is he going to get into and get the black community out of this season? We see Malcolm X's wife watching him give a speech, and it looks like Bumpy's got some detail with her. Then we see Malcolm sitting in his home. We see him somewhere. I think he's probably having lunch with Bumpy. And then we see him out on the streets, man. He's got him a new crew out on the streets. We see Bumpy being told what new terrain he has around the city. And you can see he's tearing that paper and shit up. He is not happy with the terrain the families is trying to give to him for, for the new city and the new arrangement that he's going to have. And then you see him going before the families and you see that new cat sitting there looking at Bumpy like, don't you say nothing, you nigger. You better not say nothing because you say something. I'm going to end you. And then we see Stella's mama upset with Stella because Stella is telling all the beans. But look, Stella lost a loved one. And the mama's so upset, she slaps the pure fire out of Stella. I mean, look at that. In slow motion, Stella's hair is moving. And for the actors, that had to be a hard slap to get that hair to move like that in the wind. And so that's just showing you just how upset Stella's mom is with Stella. And I'm wondering how this relationship is going to go. Is Stella going to say that mom knew everything that was going on? Because usually the crime boss's wives was able to circumvent this shit and get out of it because they act like they didn't know what was going on. What he has. Your statements helped throw the five families into disarray. The other to demand what he hasn't. But we're going to win our fight for freedom. I need alliances with the African leaders. I'll help you. I'll do whatever it takes. We see Malcolm and Bumpy having a meeting, talking, and then we see Bumpy meeting with a new cat. Could this be a new plug or could this be a cop? Post your comments and let me know what you think because you see them two shaking hands. We see the new adversary to Bumpy that's going to be added to the crime families talking to old slip and slide nose that wind up killing Ernie. And ladies and gentlemen, I do think he's going to die too. I think Stella's going to find out that he did it and he's, she's going to shoot him right in that big ass slip and slide nose and take him out. His daughter sitting somewhere, eating, co having coffee, eating breakfast. And it looked like someone from the nation might be walking in to see her. And then we see Stella one more time sitting in there, probably talking to mom. But then ladies and gentlemen, we see Stella having drinks with the new member of the family that has come in town. Now, is he going to try to woo Stella? Is he going to try to woo Stella not to talk on the families by offering up old slip and slide nose to Stella? Because in the next scene, we see Stella pulling a gun on somebody. No doubt that slip and slide nose. Then we see the new guy that's going to wind up helping Bumpy. Um, looks more like he's criminal, not cop based on the type of weaponry that's behind him and people standing there as if they're bodyguards. And then we see Bumpy's daughter singing, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see this. I think that's going to be a great display of what's going to happen over this season with her having a new inspiration to sing and build a singing career. And then we end, ladies and gentlemen, with Malcolm X giving more and more speeches, probably talking about how just because we've got the civil rights, the civil rights legislation signed, it still hasn't changed the hearts and perceptions of people in America. And I can't wait for all this stuff to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please post me all your comments on what you think is going to happen, how excited you are for the new season. 
takes place this Sunday. Let's watch it together. And for those following my channel, I will be doing reviews on Monday Night Live, 9 p.m. with Legend Legend Larry and Miss K to break everything down. And I will also be doing trailer breakdowns for the show and coming up with other stand-in videos to make this thing fun. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and also download the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Take me on the go. Listen to me as you go through the day as I put my reviews up there as well. Till that next Sex is Hell video. I'll see you.